What do you think of the new conservative tack ads? Oh. Well, you know, my definition of leadership is to lead by inspiring people, not to lead by tearing down your enemy. And I think that's a real shame that we have that kind of a leader today in place, that Mr. Harper only does tear down the other guy instead of giving a viable, good, honest, inspiring alternative. So, I'm not impressed. What do you think of their uh, finance record? Well, it's supposed to be a conservative government, and traditionally conservative means prudent, cautious, restrained. Uh, and yet this government's increased spending by a factor twice the rate of inflation. So it's actually the highest spending government in Canadian history, which is really unfortunate because now the economy is starting to slow down a little bit. These guys have spent all the surplus, like the cupboards bare. So it gets really hard for them to help people now. Um, yeah, it was sexy to give away money and tax cuts and GST and everything, but it was all done for the wrong reasons, and that was political reasons. And that's simply to keep, consolidate the hold on power. And that's a very, very short-term view of things. So, unfortunately, I'm not a fan. And what do you think of their uh, daycare? Well, sending families a hundred bucks a month uh, in, a, in an area like this, which is $1,200 a year. I mean, it costs people daycare about 13000 a year, so it's not doing much to help them. The, um, I think a better uh, approach is probably to focus more on the family. Uh, I think maybe to cut the, the tax load on families, give families a little more uh, after-tax income, let them make a decision on how they want to look after their kids, whether they want to have afford daycare or have somebody stay at home. So we don't have enough options right now. And simply trying to buy people off by sending them 100 bucks a month, uh, I don't think it's much of a solution. So there are better ways. We've had a couple of public meetings on it, and people are really divided. But, you know, I haven't heard anybody who supports the current process. It doesn't seem to be helping people. Uh, and we've got so many things tearing families apart. And just paying you money to farm out your kids is maybe not a long-term solution, you know? All right.